big cider here at the farm. You know, all the apples are coming from our orchard, so we've got the orchard on the hillside and the other one up on top. But anyway, um, over in the stand is where we sort everything out for the ones that are going to be sold at the market. And then anything that is small or they have a, a speck on or whatever, stuff that you don't sell for the fresh apples, we sort those out, bring those into this room, um, and we'll bring them over on pallets. And they've already been washed and sorted once, but then we rewash them again. That's what this machine is here. And we'll bring four or five pallets in here at a time whenever we do a batch, because I only bring stuff in here when I'm making it. But anyway, we'll bring it in, run it through the washer, and then it goes up the elevator and into the mill. So once they come up the elevator, they fall into, this is our grinder, it chops up all the apples. Um, it makes basically like a coarse applesauce, so there, there's hardly any chunks at all, it's just like paste. Um, they fall down in this chute, and that's just to keep them from splashing everywhere. But I'll basically have a rack that you start with at the bottom, um, and you put this little form inside there, and you lay down a cloth, and you have these special cider cloths, it's made just for this. Because this is a rack and cloth style press, that's how I call it. Um, but you basically, you fill up one layer of cloths, and you wrap it up, this layer of chopped up apples, you put another rack on top, you do another layer of apples, another rack. So you're basically building these sandwich kind of layers of apple bits and then a, a plastic rack. So once you get about 10 or 12 higher, you slide it underneath of the press. And it's a really slow hydraulic press. And this plate just comes down and squeezes all the juice out. And it's all caught in this pan. We have a little filter at the end that grabs it. And we pump it into our refrigeration tank over on this side. When we do a batch of cider here, the average batch is probably 200 gallons or maybe 250 gallons. Um, the max capacity we do at one time is 300, that's what this tank holds. This is just an old refrigerated uh, dairy tank for milk. Um, so we got it off of another farmer we know. And basically once, once the cider is pressed, we filter it and run it into this tank and chills it down to like 36 degrees or something like that. Um, and then we let it settle out for at least a couple hours because there's a little fine sediment similar to like orange juice, you know, at the bottom. We let the sediment get to the bottom and there's hardly anything there, but the whole point is that before we run it through our UV processor, we don't want that little dust sediment to get through the machine. But um, instead of a pasteurizer, we use a UV processor and it works basically, it achieves the same thing pasteurization does but it doesn't heat the cider, it just uses UV light. So it goes in cold and comes out cold and flows up into this little holding tank, which we have here. And then we bottle it into this little tray. And you know, once it's bottled, we move it into the cooler and it's ready for sale.